Hey everybody, John from Jellyfish Art. Just showing you a quick maintenance uh, weekly water change. What I do is I use this ladle and I ladle the jellyfish into this cup with some tank water. They're perfectly fine. And then I start cleaning the tank by wiping it down with this included sponge. Get all the algae off. Siphon as much of the debris as possible. And you just go around the edges to get all the excess algae buildup or any kind of biofilm that may have accumulated over the week. So as you can see I'm doing about a quarter, 25% water change right now. And we just want to get that extra clean by using the sponge to get as much debris as possible. You can also use the turkey baster that's also included to suck up any particulates that accumulate on the bottom. A little bit won't hurt so it's totally fine. I have found that these test strips have been pretty accurate, so we're going to test for, test for ammonia right now. My nitrite and nitrate was low, so if the ammonia is working, and the biospire, which I'm using as a biological media, is working, we should see that ammonia is low and nitrate is high. So as we wait for this to check to see what the ammonia level is, we can see that it is about 0 to 0 0.5, which is where we want it. So I use this measuring cup to take the water out. You can find this at any retail store like Walmart. It gives you the exact amount of milliliters and cups and ounces. So I took out about 16 ounces, which is one pint. I've already had the pre-mixed salt water used with reverse osmosis water and the pH is at about 8.1 salinity at 1.022 or 31 to 33 parts per thousand so we're gonna go ahead and add the salt water to the tank and it's good to take the jellies out because we don't want any excess air bubbles to get underneath them which can cause damage and I fill to half of where the fill line is. As you can see this back panel you want a little bit exposed because that is where the water will be coming out for the downflow. And then we can just top that off in the back. A little extra water and then we'll check the salinity again once we add the jellyfish back to the tank. I'll then take my container holding my jellyfish and gently submerge them back into the tank. Again, the pump is off. We don't want too much going on while you're doing the water change. If you notice that there's a little bit of excess water, you can take that out I'm using the included turkey baster so we can get to that correct line of where the flow should be. So that's usually a few squirts. If you've already put the jellyfish in, not a problem. We just won't want to get any air bubbles trapped underneath them. You will see some debris floating around, which is totally normal. But this will help us get a better cleaning ability while taking them out and making sure these jellyfish are nice and safe. Once I get the water out, like I said, I've already double checked the salinity and it matches exactly the same. They will be floating around the top right now. We don't want them slinking down to the bottom. If they are sinking down to the bottom, that means your salinity is low and you want to add fresh RO water. So, looks like our jellyfish are great. Back in the tank, plug back in the air valve, and you begin to see bubbles at the top. This concludes our water change. Thank you very much. And don't forget, use your Pure once a month. And for extra biological filtration, I recommend Biospira. Thank you guys and have a great weekend.